This is a sample from our exam 70-741 training on ITDBDs.com for complete training including practice tests, chapter tests, movie tests, flashcards, offline access, mobile apps. Please go to ITDBDs.com. We've been working with forward lookup zones which a lot of times translate a domain name into an IP address. Of course there's a lot of other records that do a lot of different things. But now let's talk about a reverse lookup zone. A reverse lookup zone really has kind of one job it translates an IP address into a name. So you can see I have several reverse lookup zones set up, but these are not set up by default. Let's take a look at one of these. In the uh, naming convention here, it, it seems a little weird, but it, if you go in reverse order, that's basically what subnet it's for. So this one is 192.168.6. So if I click on it, I can see the IP address on this side and then it, again it translates into a domain name here so you can see 192.168.69 translates to hyperv-02.itvscorp.com and we can actually see this we open up a command prompt we can do a ping minus a and then the IP address 192.168.6.69 and you can see it comes back with the name now that server is not up currently but that's how it gets the name is the reverse lookup zone. And in the reverse lookup zone are what's called a pointer record. And you'll notice if we go to create, let's say a new A record here in our forward lookup zone, there's this little checkbox to create associated pointer record. So if I create an A record for my web 01, and it translates to 192.168.6. let's say 230, Eight. and if I check this box it's going to create that pointer record for me so that was 238 let's go to our reverse lookup zone and let's go ahead and sort it here so we can see it and might need to refresh there it is so now if I did a ping minus a for 192.168.6.238 you can see it gets the name. Let's create a new reverse lookup zone. I'm just going to right click, new zone, click next, and we can have it be a primary zone. And again, this can be Active Directory integrated or file based, secondary zone or stub zone. We're going to make it a primary zone, and I'll make it Active Directory integrated. You can see where we can replicate it to, and we actually created a uh, Active Directory partition earlier, so we can actually select the Active Directory partition we created if we want to replicate it to that. I'm just going to do it to uh, all domain controllers in the forest. This is going to be for IP version 4, IP version 6. Make it IP version 4 and we just type in the subnet that we're working with. So let's say I've got a subnet 192.168.10 subnet and this would be a, a class C subnet or a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 if I had a subnet mask of 255.255.0.0, for example, then I would just add 192.168. So I'm going to make it .10 here, click Next. And because this is Active Directory integrated, we can have only secure dynamic updates. And then, of course, we have our other options as well, just like we do with our pr normal primary forward lookup zones. So I'll go ahead and click Next and Finish to create. And there it is. So now we can create pointer records manually by right clicking new pointer record, enter in the IP address and the host name, or if we have a subnet that's using DHCP that's 192.168.10, then the server or desktops or servers or whatever is using it can register their IP address in our reverse lookup zone as well as normally the forward lookup zone. And that's what normally happens a lot of times, computers normally register it themselves you can see all of these records were pretty much uh, registered by the computer themselves and that's when we allow secure updates that's what allow our our domain member computers to do this and reverse lookup zones are important to create in the real world so for every subnet we have we want to go ahead and create one some applications actually end up depending on reverse lookups so we might have our forward lookup zone set up correctly, but no reverse lookup, and that can cause problems. So, you know, it's just a good idea to set them up from the start.